Hi folks, welcome back to Raider Rec Room, Season 2, Episode 1. I'm your host Josh Clark, and joining me today is Olivia Farabaugh from the Pennsylvania area. Olivia, how you doing? I'm doing great. I just played at the coffee house, so I am having a good old time. Yeah. You did great up there, by the way. <laughs> Thank you awesome so much. Performance. Thank yeah. you. So let's get to know you a little bit, yeah? Where are you from? I am from Palmyra, Pennsylvania, right next to Hershey, where they make all the chocolate. <laughs> I was going to ask that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... um. You know, what about your music? You know, what got you into music? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like playing? So I started singing in like the church choir and at school. Um, and then I started playing the guitar when I was in fourth grade. And that's when the songwriting, I started really falling in love with that. And music just kind of took off for me from there. The songs definitely got better, thank God. Um, so mm -hmm. I've just really fallen in love with it. And I just feel really fortunate that now I'm able to travel with it and spread my music to so many different people. Oh, that's awesome. Now, I heard you up there, and you were playing a lot of different things from Miley Cyrus to Taylor Swift. Um, do you have, a, like, a style? Is that just covers, your own music? How does that all work? Yeah, I really, I love all types of music, and I love putting twists on the music that I love to listen to. Um, I grew up listening to country music a lot, so I think there's always a little bit of a country flair to my stuff. My original music is a mix between like Ed Sheeran, Miranda Lambert, and Jack Johnson. Like it's just kind of a giant mix of things. So hopefully it's a, a wide enough variety where a lot of people are interested in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, that's great. Now I want to talk about some, you know, personal life achievements, right? Now I was doing a little bit of research and I checked on your website and I saw that you actually made it past the blind auditions on NBC's The Voice, is that correct? Yeah, so I made it to the blinds. Um, I didn't get on a team, but I made it to the blinds, which was amazing. It was about a year experience from the beginning to when they aired the auditions. And it was about 46,000 people and 76 of us were able to step onto the stage. So being able to get the feedback from the artists was incredible. And I grew so much since then. Pharrell Williams gave me really great specific feedback to work on. And I took that home and I've been working on that since. And I continue to work on it. And it's just been incredible since. Wow, that, that is really yeah. special. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Now, speaking of some of these big names now, as you mentioned, Pharrell, now, I saw you opened up for uh, Rodney Atkins and, and Mitchell Tenpenny. Now, what, what's that like, the energy with those, those big names? It is so much fun. I was so fortunate to be able to play. They do a big fall fest around our area, and they bring these big names there. And the past two years, I was able to play with them, and it was so cool. Chris Jansen was the headliner for mm -hmm. the last fall fest, and watching him and seeing how he interacts with the crowd, and he just gets everybody all revved up, but he has such a great meaning to his songs and a message to give to people and it's super inspiring for me and it makes me just want to be able to do that for other people that come out to my shows and just make them feel good and everyone is united by music mm -hmm. so it, he just did such a great job of doing that so the energy is incredible that's fantastic yeah. you know and that kind of leads me into another question now now whenever you make music right or covers even that what do you want people to take away from it that is such a good question I mean, honestly, when I'm writing, I'm writing from a really honest place. So I'm just really hoping that people can relate to that. Um, you know, some of my music is definitely more deep than others might be. My last single that just came out, Baptized by Fire, was definitely the most personal single um, that I've ever released. And it was about a family member that was super close to us. And it was just one of those moments where words just wasn't explaining well what I was feeling and I couldn't comprehend what was going on. And so I just sat down with a guitar and, you know, I honestly just said a prayer before I started writing because I just wanted what I was thinking to be able to come across on paper and go into other people's ears and be able for them to relate to it and get something out of it. So I just, that's honestly been my goal. People ask, what's my goal? Like, what's your end game? Like, of course I want to be traveling and spread my music, but Honestly, whoever is supposed to hear my music at the right time, like that's what I want. And these opportunities like this is just incredible. So thank you for giving me this opportunity to spread it. Yeah, of course. You know, that, that brings up a good point too. So it, it's a very passionate process. This is songwriting and singing and, and the delivery of it, right? Yeah. What's it like getting in front of, you know, hundreds or maybe thousands of people and in, in, in putting that out there? It's super nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
the opportunities though are so crazy and if you think about it on that level like I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna sing in front of all these people and I don't know if you heard like you know if you're at the coffee house but I have extremely high anxiety and like for me just thinking about it like why would I choose this as the profession that I want to go into like that's not really right it doesn't add up but Honestly, being able to share my music, if I think of it in that way, like I'm having the opportunity to share this message with thousands of people, like that's comforting. But then when you think about it in the sense of I'm going to be on stage in front of all these people, it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's one of those things I know this is what I'm supposed to do. So like I just get up there and I do it. Wow, that's a really genuine, yeah. honest answer. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so... Do you have anything up, up and coming, you know, new music, uh, features, albums, anything? Yeah, I have. I'm releasing singles here slowly um, on the streaming services and stuff, but I have my EP that's going to be coming out on those streaming services later this year, um, which is right here <laughs> in between us. But I have singles coming out, and then that EP will drop um, later this year to keep an eye out for. Wow, great. Now, kind of going along with that, bring it to, you know, more of the bigger question abstract. You can take time to think about this. Okay. It, it's going to be... Kind of a tough one. Okay. okay? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, that is good. I see myself, honestly, I have a vision board. Okay. <laughs> I love vision boards. <laughs> and it says CMA Awards. That's where I see myself. Mm -hmm. Like, we just did this awesome event yesterday. They started the Central Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Music Hall of Fame in the area, and they did the first annual um the Central Pennsylvania Music Awards, and that was last night. And I had the honor of getting the best solo act, and I was just blown away. But like, that's where I see myself. In 10 years, I want to be sitting at a seat at the CMA Awards and be nominated for something. <laughs> that would be a really big plus. But that's what I want to do. I just want to continue being able to spread whatever I'm supposed to be spreading. And honestly, that's I have faith that God's going to put me where I'm supposed to be at the right time. So yeah, that's well, where I see myself. <laughs> congratulations. That, that's a great Thanks. achievement. And, and I, I believe you and your path, you got this. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, Thank you. last one here, okay? okay? We like to end these, but a little fun one here. Okay. And it is, if you were stuck on an island forever, you could only listen to one album, what would it be and why? Oh, okay. <laughs> Jack Johnson. I don't know if I can choose an album, though. Which one is Banana Pancakes on? Do we know? Maybe that's the name of the album. <sighs> Better Together, Angel, any of his, <laughs> any of his stuff. I could just listen to one song, like Taylor. That's the one. That's the one. If I could listen to one song, Taylor by Jack Johnson. That's oh, you, it. you don't. It's not just one. You get the whole album. Oh well, yes. then that's even more of a plus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Come out here, answer some questions. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. This yeah, is awesome. Of course. Now. I understand that you might be willing to play something for us. Oh, heck yeah. Awesome. Thank oh, you yeah. so much. Thank you. <laughs> Baptized by fire Holy waters could only put out I've tried and I've tried on my own to break you free that fire is burning deep I knew the day would come when you decide that I'm the one who ruined your life but even though you smear my name I can't seem to push you away cause the blood that's beating through my veins is the same that flushed your face when you let that rage inside you take the reins you let it decide where your fist was thrown your words with stone I should have known Cause you baptized by fire Holy waters could only put out I've tried and I've tried on my own To break you free But that fire is burning deep You try to break my family Like you're breaking bread on Sunday morning When you bow your head you Say you're a godly man, but you're just a place where the devil made his den. I'm tired of smile being taken, and I'm just easily manipulated. It's no sign of weakness, just that I have a heart that's beating every time. I take the bait, you twist my words, and my words shakes, cause your baptized by fire. Hold on, honest, I've tried and I've tried 
Shout on my own and break you free With that fire's burning This is not what I wanted This is not what I thought it would be When we were just kids I, I thought you'd grow up to be A different man Had yeah, the one that I needed Now all I can do is Fall to my knees and plead Lord, he's been baptized by fire Your holy waters could only put out I've tried and I've tried on my own and break him free But that fire is burning deep That fire is burning deep Thank you so much for watching Raider Record Room. My name is Olivia Farabaugh. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.